The following may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Villainous teenager granted $50,000 bail. The Williamville secondary student accused of wounding her classmate with a KNIFE during a fight after school has been granted $50,000 bail. The 15-year-old Form 2 student pleaded not guilty during a virtual appearance in the Faisabad Juvenile Court before Justice Jade Rodriguez. She was charged by WPC Blackman with wounding with intent to cause grievous bodily harm and possession of a WEAPON. The judge granted her bail on the condition that she has no direct contact with the victim or through social media. The teenager was also advised to limit her time on social media. Her father was approved as surety for her bail. The charges stem from a fight which took place on Monday along the roadway, minutes away from the school, in which another 15-year-old Form 2 student was t with a KNIFE. During the incident, which was recorded on another student's cell phone, the victim suffered wounds to her face, chest, and arm and had to be hospitalized. However, she has since been discharged and is recovering at home. Following the incident, the Ministry of Education made the decision to expel the accused from the school. Amalgamated Security Services Dispels Rumors Circulating in Malicious Online Video Amalgamated Security Services Limited ASSL, has sought to set the record straight following a video of its officers cutting and removing hanging copper cables belonging to the Telecommunications Services of Trinidad and Tobago, TSDT. In a statement, the security company gave a report of the events as they unfolded. Two uniformed employees were in a company vehicle around 1.15 p.m. on Thursday conducting TSTT task force duties along the Bourne Coco Road, Petite Valley. ASSL explained that these duties include the cutting and removal of cables observed to be prepared by perpetrators to be removed at a later time. The officers observed such cables at LP191 and took photos which were sent to the TSTT command center. The officers received authorization to cut the cables and to return it to the Laventil work center. After securing those cables in the tray of the vehicle, the team was directed to a location in Piccadilly Street where another piece of cable was cut and secured in the vehicle. ASSL noted that someone at the Morn Coco Road venue took the video currently being circulated on social media. The security company explained that all the TSTT task force mobiles conduct removal of these cables daily and the cutting instruments are provided by TSTT. ASSL added, Regretfully, many individuals seek to add their own skewed narrative and malign our company and our hard-working employees who risk life and limb by just doing their job of securing our customers' assets. The company said the video is clear in what activities were being carried out, but the accompanying narration seeks to maliciously impugn the character of the officers involved and by extension or company. Well, in broad daylight, yes. Gunmen all the thief and cable, watch, watch. Gunmen, thief and cable in broad daylight, amalgamated officers again. Amalgamated again. Watch them broad daylight amalgamated. Watch amalgamated all year. Combo clad man them. One dead and two wounded in drive by. One man was erased while two others remain hospitalized after a drive-by shooting in Freeport. Police report that at around 9 p.m. on Thursday, 37-year-old Kevin Martin was part of a group of men liming in a car park in front of a bar. 
Police said a silver AD wagon pulled up in the front seat passenger, alighted the vehicle, and opened fire on the men. The vehicle then sped off. Martin died at the scene. Two other victims, Kern Smith and Nicholas Michael, were taken to the Kuva District Health Facility by a passerby. A motive for the incident is yet to be determined. Student misconduct leads to 1,318 suspensions in schools. Since the return of students to physical school in April, more than 1,000 students have been suspended for a series of infractions, including possession of WEA PONS and drugs, engaging in fights, and SEXUAL misconduct. At the post cabinet media conference on Thursday, Education Minister Dr. Nyan Gatsby Dolly gave a breakdown of the infractions associated with the 1,318 suspensions noted to date. While there have been video recordings of students in school uniform fighting in public spaces, Gatsby Dolly noted that the vast majority of fights have taken place during the lunch break. Further, the bulk of the infractions have been committed by students in forms 1 to 3. A total of 21 serious fights were recorded since schools reopened, with a rise in incidents at schools which didn't previously have disciplinary issues. The minister revealed that the WEA PON of choice in serious fights appears to be KNIVES. To treat with issues of school indiscipline and violence, The Ministry of Education has proposed a merit demerit point system. The Ministry has also requested heightened patrols by municipal police at all schools in all districts to quell the skirmishes during and after school hours. Chris Brown uses viral dancing criminal in TNT robbery to promote new song. American singer, songwriter, dancer, graffiti artist, and actor Christopher Maurice Brown, also known as Chris Brown, is promoting new music as he prepares to drop his album called Breezy Album on June 24. Promoting one of the tracks which features on the project, Brown opted to reshare a video of CCTV footage taken at a bar in no other place but Davie, Trinidad. The clip was uploaded to his Instagram stories. It shows a man armed with a high powered dancing to music during a robbery. Brown's song, Warm Embrace, which is the 15th track on the album that boasts 23 songs, accompanies the footage. The video had been making its rounds on Trini social media long before Brown's acknowledgement. However, he does boast 111 million followers on IG, effectively broadcasting it to a much larger audience than Trinidad's 1.4 million population. Where did the video come from? Well, it's no laughing matter. The criminal might have been enjoying the music and overall vibe, but patrons at the bar were not. According to reports, four assailants, one of whom was armed with a high powered Went into the Ramai Trace Bar on Monday and ordered patrons to lie face down on the floor. They stole an undisclosed sum of cash, cigarettes, and alcoholic beverages. In the end, the assailant stuffed his WEPON in his backpack that he carried on his chest, grabbed a bear, and all four men fled the scene. <laughs>